Hi there. In this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the VFAIRS conference platform. And together, we'll look at some past events that we have hosted to give you an idea of what is possible and what you can expect from our solution. So let's get straight into it. First off, let's talk about where your virtual event will take place and how you get your attendees to learn about your online conference. For this, we will work with you to set up a landing page for your virtual event. Your landing page is fully branded with the logo of your conference or your organization, and of course, the date and time of the event itself. You can also add any other detail that describes your conference and motivates users to sign up. That information could include the agenda. It could also include promoting and highlighting the different sponsors and exhibitors that are participating. And you can also add frequently asked questions. Next up, let's take a look at how you will be able to capture registration of users that are planning to attend your event. The great thing with VFairs is you have so much flexibility when it comes to registration. Option one, capture registration with a customized form for attendees with form fields of your choice. First name, last name, email address, you name. If you already have the list of registered users, you can opt for option two, which is data import. We also offer you a great choice of third-party integrations, such as Zapier integration, SSO integration. We also enable payment integrations with PayPal and Stripe to collect registration fees from your participants. All right, now let's get to the fun part. The live event comes up and your attendees log in. Once logged in, they land on the online space, which we call a virtual lobby. The lobby is designed with a 3D outlook and it gives an immersed feel to the visitor as if he or she is actually entering a conference. There are so many beautiful designs to choose from. And if you're looking for something simpler than these animated designs, we can also work with you to create more plain 2D designs like this. On the other hand, if you're looking at more customizable options, keep in mind that we can replicate anything you'd like or design anything from scratch as well. Over here, it looks like we're walking into the Hilton Chicago. Everything from the exterior to the interior is replicated to make it look and feel as though we're actually at the Hilton. Similarly, for this example, we have customized the exterior to make it look like you're walking into the stadium. Okay, let's move on. After a user reaches the lobby, they have four main areas that they can navigate to. The auditorium, exhibit hall, networking room, and help desk. And we'll go through them one by one. Let's start with the virtual auditorium. The virtual auditorium is where your conference agenda is hosted, and it lists all of the speakers that are scheduled to present at your event. I'll quickly walk you through different examples of other auditorium designs as well. Once I click on the screen, I get to see the agenda of your conference. Over here, you can add the speaker's name, bio, picture, as well as handouts that attendees can download before or after the conference. Your speakers can host live webinars and deliver concurrent sessions with our embedded Zoom module. They can also run live polls and Q&A during their sessions. These webinars can also be conducted in real-time translation into multiple languages. Last up, in case you're broadcasting in real-time from a physical venue, we've got you covered there as well. Next up, we've got the exhibit hall. This is essentially a collection of booths hosted by your exhibitors, vendors, partners, or sponsors. And it's a place where your audience can interact and engage with them. We offer over 10 different designs on how your exhibit hall and your booths can look like. And here are some examples from past events. When an attendee clicks on any one of these booths, they can learn more about a particular exhibitor or sponsor. In brief, there are four main features within a virtual booth. Let's start with branding. Each virtual booth can stand out with their own logos and branding, 
as well as the diverse avatars that every sponsor or vendor can select from. Next up, unlimited content. Whether that is through content links or users could take a look at their company profile, view the videos they've added and the documents. Anything that is of interest to them, once they view, they can add into their virtual bag or swag bag so that once the event is over, they can go ahead and have all of these saved documents emailed to them and they can review these later on as well. With this, we've wrapped up branding and unlimited content, which brings me to point number three. Any attendee of the event can easily chat with the sponsors by using our embedded chat feature that would allow the users to communicate over a group text conversation or even one-on-one -on -one private chat rooms that have audio and video call capability. In addition to that, attendees could also pre-book meetings with the exhibitors according to the time slots that are available on a first-come, first-served basis. In case they could not reach the sponsors, there's always the option of leaving their business card or leaving them an offline message. And now for the last feature on the booth, everything I walked you through is tracked and reported. Once the event is over, you get analytics on every booth visit, click, download, every chat archive is given back to you and the sponsors so they can track the lead capture and return on investment. That was all about the exhibit hall. Now let's move on to the third important section, which is the networking lounge. So in some conferences, you might want your attendees to interact with each other as well and exchange information. The lounge launches the same chat interface, but here your attendees can chat with one another instead of just with exhibitors. Attendees can search for one another and they can book one-on-one -on -one text, audio or video calls to exchange information. They can also join pre-created chat rooms to discuss certain topics around your conference. In addition to these, your event attendees can also make use of our matchmaking solution to expand their networking opportunity. Next, the final piece is the information desk or the hub desk. This is where participants can communicate with you as an event organizer. Moreover, there's also a technical help desk where your attendees and exhibitors can directly reach out to us for any technical support required. We offer users to get in touch through live chat, direct phone line, or through an email address dedicated for your event. This support is available to you as an event organizer and also to your event attendees, sponsors, and speakers. All right, that sums up the core components of the virtual conference platform. I'll quickly move on to a couple more things that may or may not be relevant for your event, but they're still worth mentioning. We enable you to boost engagement at your event through different gamifications. The first method involves running a live leaderboard. A leaderboard allows you to grant virtual points to users based on them carrying out certain activities. For example, you might want to give points to users who register early or attend a certain keynote session and so on. The leaderboard is visible to all users and they can see where they rank at all times. Then, it's up to you as an event organizer to decide how you want to reward them. You can give away different prizes like Amazon gift cards, iPads, Apple Watch, you name it. Another gamification mechanism we support are scavenger hunts. In a scavenger hunt, you can give users certain clues and ask them to find objects or images hidden across the pages of your event. You can then reward them based on their discovery. For example, you can ask them to locate Elvis in the lobby. And here he is. Here's another example of a scavenger hunt. And bear in mind that these could be virtually anything you can think of. This will encourage users to explore more areas of the event and register higher engagement. Next up on the list of making your event even more engaging is the virtual photo booth. You can turn up the excitement for your attendees by allowing them to take creative selfies and pictures with all sorts of backgrounds and filters. They can then enter the photo gallery to view and like other attendees' pictures. Last up, you can also view real-time reactions with a social media wall. This feature allows you to fill in social media posts with specific hashtags from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more directly into your virtual conference. 
Next, a bit about reporting. The great thing about virtual events is the fact that everything is tracked and is measurable. You can quickly find out who logged in, how many people visited each booth, which webinars were the most popular, and so on. We provide a backend reporting area, which you can access and get stats in real time. What's more, we even deliver a PDF report after the event is over that summarizes your event's main metrics. For example, how many people registered, how many of them logged in, the interactions with various content items, webinar stats, etc. Moreover, we also give you the raw data so that you can actually see, say, who are those 100 odd people that visited a certain booth and so on. You can also share these stats with your exhibitors and sponsors so that they can understand the kind of engagement they got. That sums up the platform's capabilities. Let's also take one minute to talk about the process. So, if you were to sign up with us, the first thing that will happen is that we will assign a dedicated project manager and customer success manager who will work alongside you to get your event set up and manage the entire process. They will work with you to get your landing page set up and your virtual environment built out. They will also work with your speakers and see if they need any training to record videos or deliver their webinars. We also provide all the tools you need to help your exhibitors set up their respective booths themselves. We provide an easy and very simple self-service system that will take them through a step-by-step -step wizard to set up their booths from choosing templates, adding videos, images, and configuring the settings. And of course, if they need any assistance, our team will be happy to give them a hand. And yes, that would be with no additional cost. For VFairs, the idea is not just to provide you with rock-solid technology, but also to ensure you run a successful event by acting as your consultant. Now, there are hundreds of companies that have used our platform. This includes Fortune 500 companies like T-Mobile, Nestle, AT&T, Cornell University, and so on. You can jump on Captera and G2 to see their reviews on our technology and post-sales support. We're also very happy to give you any of these references in case you want to reach out to them directly and learn more about how it was working with VFairs. And that's it. I hope this demo was useful and it gave you an idea of what we at VFairs can do for you. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us on the contact form on the site or on sales at vfairs.com and we'll get in touch with you to take your questions. Thank you so much for watching.